Welcome back everyone. In today's video, we will see about stacks and queues. These data structures play a crucial role in many applications and algorithms. Provide an efficient way to manage and access the data. Before seeing a new topic, let's have a recap. Previously on DSA, we end up with cyclic linked lists. There are two types of linked lists, cyclic singly and cyclic doubly. With explanation of Java code and at last we saw the complete tutorial on single linked list the insertion and deletion part how to integrate with it now let us see the new chapter stacks and queues stacks and queues both are linear data structure but they differ in how elements have been added or removed let us start with stacks in this video we will be seeing only about the stacks and on next video we will be seeing about the queues with x a stack follows a last in first out principle think of it a stack of plates has been arranged for an example, when you add a new plate, it goes on the top. Whenever you want to remove that plate, you take it from the top. That means the top element should be adding and the top element only must be removed. This is called stack. Let us do this with a numerical example. The element 1 is present and the 2 element is being added on the top of the 1 element and 3 is added on top of 2 element and 4 will be added on top of 3 element. Here, the element which is been adding is by the is the process made by push function. This push function will be pushing the elements on top. And let us see that how to remove the elements. Here I want to remove the top element that means the 4. The element is must be removed. This is called pop. We are just popping the top element alone. And other elements will be remaining as such. Push and pop are the two primary operations. Now let's get started and see how to code this in Java. In my previous video, we end up with this singly linked list complete tutorial on insertion and deletion. And now let me re replace this with our new code on the new chapter stacks. These stacks can be created by two methods using arrays and linked list. On this video, I will show you how to do with arrays. On our next video, let us see how to do with linked list and let us see about the introduction of queues. Here, I'll be renaming it to arrays and uh, stacks. And let us normally create the private variables. We need to initialize with maximum size, top and the array. That means the stack array must be created here. And I will be creating the public class for it. Inside this class, I will be using the capacity. That means the maximum capacity of the stacks. That The size of the stack is being initialized here and the top is represented as minus one you may have a doubt that why i am initializing it as minus one minus one represents the last element of the stack that means in an array there will be no elements at starting so i will be initializing as minus one so that i could know the array is empty or not through this i can add up the elements on the upcoming values has been adding on the next step, I will be creating the boolean function. So that means the stack is empty or not, it will be saying. If it is empty, it will return the top is equal to minus 1. If it is not empty or it is uh, it is full means it will be giving us the value as maximum size minus 1. That means the top element is minus 1. So after the capa maximum capacity is reached, it will be subtracted with that minus 1 and it will be showing us the remaining balance that means there will be no balance of stacks so no element can be added there by this way we can know that the stack is full or not next let us write the function for pushing the elements into the stacks in push element we will first check the stack is full or not if it is full means it will be printing stack is full else the top element will be incremented by one and the stack array at the index of top element it will be stored so the values will be getting stored on each and every incremental of top variable through this we can achieve the complete stack elements in a array next let us start with the function of pop now we will be writing the function for pop initially we will be checking if the stack is empty or not if the stack is empty we will be returning as minus one and let us write the else condition after the main program. Till that I will be using the else condition with uh, normally displaying the values inside the stack. 
here the else condition is for just for printing the values it is not for the pop element i will write it after writing the driver program after writing the main program let us come here let us start writing the main program public class static void main should be written right and we have to create a instance for the class variable for array stack i will be creating a variable called stack through this variable we can initially call these functions like push pop and everything will be called using this instance using this element i will be initially pushing the elements of two integer values two and number element two and another element two and here i will be using the same two numbers so that the same numbers also can be pushed into the stacks there will be no duplication in it the both elements will be printed and now i would like to see the values of the top element so i will be creating a new function peak this peak function will be collecting the top element of the stack this peak element will be collecting the top element of stack and it will be stored inside this top element variable so the top element can be printed this top element can be viewed when we call this function in this function i will be initially checking the stack is empty or not if it is empty i will be returning minus one if the stack is full or some value values have been added i will get the top element at the present moment that means on the stack array i will be initially indexing the value as top the top is at present incremented value when the element is been added i'll be getting that number alone now let me replace this pop element else function in this else function i'll be initially generating a new variable called pop element that means the element which is been popped at the index of top minus minus that means top the value minus with 1 at that index the element will be popped out the element is deleted since the element deleted will be printed in the system out and returns the popped element values next let us continue with the driver program here i will be initializing with the top element that stack and the peak is being initialized the peak will collect the top element in the stack array at present moment and next we need to get the pop element function called let us see with the stack and pop it shows the in data that means the data is required here but for us only with the pushing element we need to give the data that means the passing data must be given only by the push element for pop and the peak element there will be no data transfer so i just copy pasted the function so it may happen like this after removing this element we can pop the elements at the top of the array now everything is set just call the functions whatever you like and test the program now let us run the program these programs will be in my github file you can use it as example and do the practice problems now we got the output the two elements has been pushed and the two elements has been popped out now the stack will be empty so the stack is empty is printed if the stack is empty we can't peak the top element so the stack is empty we are showing that add elements element 1 2 3 and pushed and here you can notice that the last peak element has been not run because we didn't update the top element stacks i already said that we need to update it at the run time so let me show the next now i need to update the top element variable you can see that the 2 is printed for the previous output now i will be replacing it with new value here we need to initialize this with a new stack peak that means the new top element will be printed 3 let us see the output the element 3 has been printed now and i will stop the video here on my next video we will be seeing about the implementation of queues and stacks with linked list solve the practice problems given in the github and the answers will be posted later and check the metrics for the past linked list I have been uploaded in shorts.